with the necessary skills to thrive and lead in the digital revolution has been encouraged. This is the vision at Power Learn Project, meant to provide equality, affordable and accessible tech training to 1 million youth in Africa by 2027. The chief executive of Hoops Dreaming in Yeladiton advised the attendees to participate in the tournaments which are essential for maintaining one's mental health. In Yeladiton said, uh, foundation of well-being and support for those who drive technology development is necessary to build new solutions. The project is to train a million tech developers across Africa over the next five years. The project started out of Kenya, that's where, um, that's where it was born, and it's now in five countries across Africa, South Africa, Zambia, Tanzania, Kenya, and Nigeria is the fifth. The success stories are based on the fact that we have already graduated over 10,000 learners in the past year, and where Nigeria sits in that equation, is that we are going to have graduated 900 learners by the middle of July. The reason we set up this meeting today is to seek partners to help us to achieve that goal. I'm excited about the Power Learn project because it's an extension of the work that we've done at Utiva. Um, I've said it multiple times, at Utiva we've trained over 50,000 people. But then, this is the market of 650 million young people that need to learn. Um, so we need to kind of like improve you know, the capacity to foster better relationships, and that's why I'm here. And if you look at it, this is something that we need in Nigeria. Um, at this point in time, there's a lot of youth unemployment, but technology is a very, is, is a good platform whereby you can take people out of poverty and they can be citizens of the world. 